One of the big new features in macOS Sonoma is the new wallpapers and screensavers. They're pretty awesome. There's a lot to choose from. And if you get a little too excited with these, you'll quickly realize they take up quite a bit of space on your hard drive. There actually isn't a way to delete these from your computer. The way it's designed puts all these in a hidden folder on your computer, and if your hard drive ever starts to run out of space, your system starts automatically deleting them. So technically, you don't need to worry about manually deleting them. They'll be cleared as soon as your hard drive space is needed for other tasks. But I'll show you how to access them in case you want to manually inspect what you have downloaded. And if you really want, you can also manually delete them to free up hard drive space. Also, I'm doing this all on the wallpaper tab here. You can also do it from the screensaver tab, but it's all the same. The files are the same and they go to the same folder on your computer, so it doesn't really matter. First, you'll go to Finder, click the Go button up here, and then hold down the Option key on your keyboard, which will reveal the option to open up your library folder. Here's your library folder, but we're going to take a step back. As you see here, there's a library folder under each user account on your computer, but there's another library folder up here. This is where your screensavers are located. Go to Application Support, Find the folder that's labeled Idle Asset and go to the Customer folder. Here you'll see all your screensaver files organized by file type. Mine are all in this 4K240 frames per second folder. This screensaver, for example, is almost one gigabyte. Like I said, they're not designed to be deleted manually, and I'll show you what happens if you do delete them. Just to make sure I won't run into any issues, I'll make a copy of this before I delete it. Then I'll hit Command Delete to delete the file, and because it's a system file that's not intended to be deleted, it's asking for a password. Type in the password and confirm we want to delete this file. Now going back to my screensavers, I'll locate the same screensaver we just deleted. There it is. Normally, when you click one of these, it will instantly change if you already have it downloaded, or if you don't have it downloaded, you'll see this little download icon here. But when we click the screensaver, we just deleted it doesn't work. The file is missing so the background doesn't change, but you also don't see the download icon like you'd normally see. But when I take a look at my network traffic here, I can see there's a process called idle asset that's downloading something in the background. That's your screensaver being downloaded back, even though you don't see the download icon. Give some time and check back later, and you'll see that screensaver back in the folder we just deleted it from. All right, it's been about five minutes, and our screensaver has quietly appeared back in the folder where we deleted it from. I haven't tried deleting a massive amount of screensavers, so I'm not sure if it works the same way if you were to delete a bunch of them at once, but I'm assuming the process should be the same. And when in doubt, you can always make a copy on an external hard drive if you're afraid of messing up your system. Hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching. If you like these kind of tutorials, make sure to subscribe to our channel and drop a comment below and let us know what's your favorite screensaver.